County Veterans Memorial Arena. It has been an entertainment venue in this area for six decades. And tomorrow, Brett Michaels will be the final artist to take the stage before the facility is torn down. Local 5's Aaron Taylor gives us a look at the venue as crews work to get it set up. When you talk about 60 years of entertainment, there's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of memories, a lot of experiences were had in this building. They say all good things must come to an end, and the same goes for the Brown County Arena. We always knew we wanted to do a last show, so you, know, you could book anybody to have the concert, but the question is, is there somebody who really made sense? And there was. Brett Michael's name just kept coming up because he had been here so many times. Nobody's been at the Brown County Arena opening up a show more than Brett Michaels. But that kind of a perfect match requires the perfect setup. In this venue, it's not the easiest thing, especially for what he's asking. The promoter decided to try to make this a throwback concert, and the thing that was used back in the day were par cans or, or can lighting. Each of those par cans must be set by hand. As tedious and as big and long of a process as this has been, it's pretty neat to say we're going to take it out the way it was brought in. We're doing just kind of that big rock show. There's just so much history with Brett Michaels. He had said, I would love to come and play this building one more time. So. The stars were aligning. The stars aligned for the Brown County Arena's last stand. All aspects of it. I mean, this is going to be a hell of a show. In Ashwaubenon, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. Now, that show was previously sold out, but because of the high demand, the stage was adjusted to allow for more seating, and now tickets for that concert are still available.